You wanna know how I fix that? Told this, brought this from the shop. It's called Magic Aluminum Cutting Fluid. It's basically oil. Spray the crap out of that fan right there. No more noise. But of course it only lasts a few months. Then after a few months it starts rattling all over the place. Then I have to do it again. So it's a nice cheap, it takes like two seconds to fix it. Uh, it took me like a minute maybe, but it works. So, busy, busy, busy day today. We are going to... I'm quickly running out of time to ship all the stuff. I have to ship and get everything to New York uh, by Thursday. That means that if I don't ship today and get two day shipping, I'm gonna have to ship next day, which is huge, huge money. Oh yeah. Disconnecting the Samba. So, I wanna try and make all the stuff and get in the box and take it to UPS today so that um, I can get everything there by Sunday. I guess the other alternative would be to, to ship it to the hotel where I'm going. Uh, judging by how long it took for that package that I sent to New York last week, it takes about a week to get the package there on via ground. So if I ship t stuff today to the hotel that I'm gonna be Tuesday morning, then that also works and it might be cheaper than having a two day air stuff. Choices, a lot of choices. Either way, I have to decide all that today. We have to do get all that stuff done. Uh, we have to prepare a bunch of orders, all orders that came yesterday so that I, I have, the deadline is also on Thursday. So lots of stuff to do. Let's get it done. I just banged my knee on the bus. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. All right, let me limp around for a while. Then I... By the way, uh, I was supposed to be doing something, but this is what always happens. I uh, start looking. At Twitter, I start looking at the messages on YouTube, uh, Facebook, but I really should be looking at this list. This is the list that I have things to do today. Um, okay, first of all, this trip to New York, um, I know I've talked about this before, but here is a very simple way to look at it. The reason I'm going to New York is to increase sales through our biggest retailer, b &H. As much as I hate sales and pushing product, it's still paying the bills. And so I figured that if I invest a little bit of time doing that, then it makes the thing that I wanna do a lot easier. More sales equals more time for me available to do videos. And so that's why I'm going. I just happened to come across someone that I know for a long time and he gave me the insights as to how to deal with the B&H people over there. Um, turns out they're kind of old school. The only way to be taken seriously and to have any kind of leverage to, to, to push your products on their store, on their website and stuff, it's to show up there. From what I this guy told me, you have to do it every month. Every month you show up and you have a meeting with them. You're like, look, this is how we did last month. Let's increase it you know here's an extra percentage you know to kind of give them incentives and stuff and so that's what I'm going to do I'm going next week for an expo that is to train all their salespeople uh, that's gonna hopefully help increase sales but I'm also gonna try and schedule a meeting with my buyer which hopefully is gonna increase sales for the next months but I, I think I'm gonna have to schedule one every month and so you do the math you know, how much it costs to, you know, fly into New York. You know, the, here, the thing, like once you're in New York and if you're going every month, opportunities 
uh, kind of open up, then I'll be looking for more stuff to do in New York City to be able to, you know, to maximize uh, my time. That's the other reason why I, you know, this whole thing with Casey, if we do go into business and I can manufacture some kind of product that he endorses, then, you know, we can have our, our monthly meeting to discuss the thing. I have a couple of ideas that are now geared more towards bloggers. Blogosphere is a growing market and it's thanks to people like him because he is right now the, the hottest, in my opinion, the best blogger out there. I've seen some of the other ones that are out there that have also millions of followers and stuff, but by far I like his style the best and I think the recent growth of this channel kind of tells me that I'm in the right track and this guy is going to be the blogger. So anyways, it's Tuesday, let's go check the mail. Today's, there's a slight, very slight chance that there's a kind of a large check coming from B&H. Um, and I mean a slight because it's not due until the 23rd, which is a couple of days from now. But they have sent me checks early before. So it's not entirely crazy to think that they might do that. And if they send it a couple days early, then it would make next week just a whole lot smoother for me. So here's hoping. I hope it's there. Nope. Nope, just bills. Oh well. Maybe tomorrow, there's always tomorrow. Oh, I guess, okay. I guess the tear deck guys got back to us. What did they say? <laughs> okay. Basically he says, between you girls, please figure out a way to make it worth our while to give me a unit, right? Oh, okay. So I think I know what's going on. I was, I initially I thought, oh, he's just making fun of us because we're like, oh, we want to do this thing with the YouTuber or whatever. Uh -huh. And he's like, okay, you kind of like, you know, you cool girls, settle down, just make it work, you know? No, but that's to them. That's exactly, once I read it, the whole thing, it's like, I think he already, he already thought that we had a unit. He goes, oh, you guys cheated. You guys got to get one before oh, well, everyone well, else. Well, well, and well, so he thought that we already had one. So when you were asking him, he's like, wait, you need another one? And we're like, no, no, no. Like we didn't keep it. Like the guys took it back. They needed it back. So we gave it back to them. Oh, and I he's like, it. just figure out how to get these guys one and they can keep it. Like we don't, why are you like, He's like, they're being kind of stingy with the, with the units. <laughs> <laughs> so he's basically saying, just figure out how to make it worth our while. Like, if they got their BTS piece or whatever. Like, whatever it is, just figure out how they can just have one, you know, to. Yeah. Just... I guess it pays to know the guy at the top. That's the video that we... Oh, look at that, it looks so real! And it's all revolved around this, you know what I mean? All right, guys, it's super late once again, and we need to get out of here. But before, um, I wanna to talk to you guys about YouTube, actually. Um, I think YouTube's still seen by a lot of people as just kind of a joke, kind of this thing, you know, where bloggers do their thing, you know, just like kids and the, the real work, real video, real advertising, like real movies and serious projects are not done on YouTube. But of course, that is wrong. There's all the major news networks, uh, outlets are on YouTube. All the major retailers and advertisers are advertising on YouTube. So the money is there already and the projects 
are there and the real talent it's also there and the the reason is there's a lot more freedom I'll, I'll give you a, a, an example I start doing this series of videos here this vlog I don't have to pretty much answer to anyone I can say whatever I want I can I can present myself my company my brand my everything just the way I want to do it and and someone could have objection to it but no one I don't have to answer to anyone it's just me and the audience you guys the audience whoever's on the other side of the screen unlike anything that's out there currently I'll give you an example uh, uh, two weeks ago when I went to shoot my blog you know just kind of like behind the scenes on this video which by the way is release the artist that we couldn't say at the time is Sia Grammy award-winning she's hot right now billion views on like one of her videos and a couple of her videos or something anyway she released the new single and then they shot the the video for it well the project that misa was working on was for with a group of guys that pitch a lyrics video it's, it's that video that goes up on youtube and it's got the, the song lyrics and stuff okay traditionally is those are been like really boring is like some static image of trees or whatever and then you know like scrolling text goes through it and stuff that's what has been happening now um, they pitched a whole like produce video and that's what they were shooting that day that thing um, which by the way it was it was published this morning by now it's got a few hundred thousand views by the time you guys get to see it tomorrow when I link it right here I don't know probably you know two three hundred thousand I don't know it's probably much higher than it is today um, the problem was that Misa was there to shoot a behind the scenes on that project right and he came back they just kind of let him did this thing and then once he made he made a great piece by the way it uh it was his point of view and like this is what we're shooting this is what it is this is how we get things done he, he produced and created a, a great piece that he submitted to them so they could submit it to the record label and eventually it was going to be seen by sia and either approved or you know like to put us an add-on thing to the album to the video to the whatever whatever this uh, the thing ends up being okay the, the piece got shut down it turns out it was too honest they're you know with a high profile artist and a bunch of record labels and a bunch of lawyers and stuff those are the walls that you end up hitting and so a, a nice piece that pretty much is honest and tells it how it is it's not never gonna see the light of day uh, and that's exactly what ended up happening with Mises piece it was it was a great piece I saw it I liked it it was it was good stuff in fact the, the filmmakers also thought it was a great piece but they pretty much said well yeah it's not gonna make it it's not gonna make the cut there's a bunch of red tape everywhere and so that's a good example of how YouTube gives you all this freedom like I can we can go and shoot all this stuff and and we can be completely honest about how we do the things and how we get projects and you know like how we cut corners you know sometimes just to make things happen and there's no one there to tell you no you you, you don't have permission we need to look like this way we need to look like a big company we need to look like like we're legit we need to look like we're smart we need to look like we're pretty um all that stuff it's it's you know gone you know what i mean like and so that is the beauty and that is the power of youtube and that is the reason why i'm choosing to attach myself to uh to this platform that is so great it's got over a billion subscribers nothing else touches it there is no network tv network there's no other platform that even comes close to the audience and the potential that youtube currently has and um that's why we're doing this all right so i'm gonna go home now let's do this <laughs> almost forgot my backpack oh by the way update number two on our package look at what we see here that's today's video that he uploaded 
You see that thing there? That is our box. He has it in his office right there. Look at that. I'm going to play it a little bit so you can see it. Yes. Look, look, look. You can see it right there. You see it? <laughs> he got it. Now, now the problem is that I don't know if he's going to do a, a, a mail time this week. If he doesn't, then he's never going to see it. And he's, I'm going to have to, you know, call this people and, and talk to him said it which is not as cool if he you know opens a thing and you're like hey look at this guy wants to come and wants to have some business meeting over here he's got an idea um but anyways whatever um whether he opens it by the time i made it make it there or it doesn't i think it's gonna be cool either way um anyways next week stay tuned for next week it's gonna be fun let's get out of here We'll be back next week at the same time. Rock and no, no, what is that? No, I don't like that. <laughs>